My name is Officer Montiel with the California Highway Patrol. Alexandra Marie Genovese, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. She was a varsity cheer captain at Homestead High School. Adam Daniel Schwartz, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile traffic collision. Remembered by his friends as being outgoing, friendly, and funny. Catherine Elena Jean Bonner, age 18, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile traffic collision. Katie's future plans included college and study sports medicine. Katie will be remembered for her smile and laughter that brighten up any room. Connor Marilyn Bunkna died today at the age of 17 from injuries sustained in a traffic collision. She is survived by her parents, Lawrence and Jamie Bunkna, her sisters Cameron and Taylor, her brother Liam, and her paternal grandparents. Danny was loving and caring. She had an outgoing personality that will be missed by all. Her future plans included attending college and becoming a speech pathologist so she could work with autistic children. Kimberly Aiko Inanagua died today at the age of 17. She will be remembered by her friends as well-rounded, creative, and artistic. Her future plans included graduating from college with a degree in fashion design. Shannon Chu, known to her friends as Chi Chi, age of 16. She died today of injuries sustained in a traffic collision. Kim's future plans included graduating medical school and becoming a doctor. Tristan Barragon died today from injuries sustained in a traffic collision. He was a junior in the ADVID program at Homestead High School. David Joshua Mole, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Known by his family as mature and independent, David's future plans included attending college in the fall and majoring in engineering. Ayush Mera, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. He was a future business leader of America. Ayush was focused and determined. Emmy Eva Hana Kamazaki died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. She hoped to become a journalist one day. Emergency services, oh what are you recording? You have to help. You have to help. I just heard this huge, huge crash. Okay, where? I, th I think at Homestead High School, somewhere near the football field. It came from there. You have to hurry. Okay, we'll go ahead and help get help out there, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Engine 77, this will be for an unknown injury accident. Unknown number of patients will be for out. Please advise when you arrive on scene if you need it. 77 copy. Play Fort Mary 4 copy. COA on arrival. Medical friend of the possible drunk driver. Engine 77 10 4 on scene. Looks like she's We got one DOA. Looks like she was ejected out of this car. We have two patients here. Critical. They're barely talking. To me. When we got here, we looked around, we surveyed. There's just a the dead girl from this other vehicle. No. Yes. It didn't appear to be so no. Hey, buddy. You got the roof off. We're going to get you to the hospital real soon, okay? Take a deep breath for me. Basically, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run through the test. See what your level of toxification is, okay? Breath. 
Put your hands behind your back. Spread your feet. Oh, my feet. Place them the wrist. did not make it. He passed away this morning. He was struck by a drunk driver. He struck him and killed him instantly. Unfortunately, Danica didn't make it. She passed away. Um, come on in. Is there a spouse? There was an accident right here in the corner of uh, Hollenbeck, right where the intersection is done. Yeah, it was a drunk driver. He was struck and hit by a person who was driving a car who, who was drunk. Is he? he right now he is being um, his his remains his body is being assessed at the coroner's office. Your daughter, Kim, she was hit by a car and she did not survive. They're taking her to the coroner's office. Oh yes, your daughter, Sarah, yes, was hit by a car. Okay. And she did not survive. Your son Brian was hit by a vehicle, and he did not survive. And he was trying to walk across the street um, on Homestead and Mary near the high school, and he was hit by a drunk driver. She was hit by a vehicle, okay, and she did not survive. Hey Bam, can you tell me what city you're in? Bam, we have vital signs of 150 over 75, pulse of 77, no signs, breathing about 8, coming last response 100% of room air. What's our ETA? Copy 10 minutes. All right, you're gonna feel a poke. Keep talking, Bam. Tell me your favorite story. Tell me where you're at. Tell me what's going on, anything. Bam, can you hear me, buddy? Patients can become unresponsive, no longer moaning. I'm gonna start innovating. Bam, you hear me? Take a breath, buddy. That's all signs are 126 over 78, yes. pulse oh. of 97, breathing at 30. Airway is secure. So we're going to do a quick secondary and it's going to touch up before the seat goes in. Okay, we have your pulses. Okay, clear? Yes, clear. Okay, clear. Yes, clear. Okay, clear. Yes, clear. We got no pulse. The code is called at 1221. Hi, I'm Dr. Garland, Brian's mother. I'm very sorry to tell you he was badly injured in a car accident and we tried as hard as we could to save him, but he's passed away in the emergency room. Bruising on the chest. Jules was very severely injured. We tried everything to get him back, but we weren't able to get him back, and, and he died.
One coming in. Here you go, man. Get used to it. That's all you're going to be eating. 